How does dialysis work? Let's review the basics. My name is Sivak Demirjian. Welcome to Kidney Guide. Today we'll talk about how dialysis works, the underlying mechanism. We'll focus on continuous dialysis, but these modes apply also on intermittent dialysis modalities. Within the hollow fibers that constitute the modern dialyzers, plasma water is pushed across the membrane by the application of transmembrane pressure. And as plasma water crosses the membrane, it drags with its solutes such as urea, which are solvent in the liquid medium. Ultrafiltration is defined as the fluid current crossing the membrane. Solutes are transferred based on individual solute sieving coefficients or permeability. The transfer of solutes by bulk motion of a fluid is called convection. More precisely, advection describes the movement of solutes. Convection is the movement of the medium, or the plasma water in this case. Diffusion, on the other hand, does not involve the bulk transfer of plasma water and solutes within, but the individual solute movement across the membrane down its concentration gradient, fueled by Brownian random motion, which is highly dependent on molecular weight or size. The simplest mode of kidney support is a slow continuous or isolated ultrafiltration, which in effect is convection process, where plasma water is filtered across the membrane, typically at rates of 300 mLs per hour or less, for volume control. When ultrafiltration or convection rate is increased to your typical continuous kidney replacement therapy rate, which is about 25 mLs per kilogram per hour. The process is called hemofiltration, which includes replacement fluid administered pre or post filter. The latter is the case in this example. Diffusion-based therapy, on the other hand, or CVVHD, involves the countercurrent flow of dialysate within the filter and does not involve the use of replacement fluids, which is the mode of therapy in typical intermittent hemodialysis. Last and not least is hemodia filtration, which combines both diffusion and convection modes. In other words, there is dialysate running countercurrent in the filter, and in addition, there is a convection component which is matched by pre- or post-filter fluid replacement. Hope you enjoyed the presentation.